To convert decimal base 10 numbers to any other base, we use an iterative form of the division algorithm. So today I'm going to talk about the iterative division algorithm that we need in order to convert from decimal to other number bases such as binary, hexadecimal, or octal. Okay, so um, the steps of the division algorithm are this. First, given two integers a and b, um, we're going to define Q to be the quotient and R to be the remainder. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to set Q equal to the integer part of A divided by B. And then we're going to set R equal to A minus BQ. And then um, at that point, we want to test to see if Q is equal to zero. If it's not equal to zero, then we're going to repeat this with um, A set to Q. So if Q is not equal to zero, then set A equal to Q, and we're going to set Q equal to, again, the integer part of a divided by b, so the b is going to stay the same, but now we have a new a, so it means q is going to be reassigned. And then again, we're going to set r equal to a minus b q. Um, and we're going to repeat this until q is equal to zero. So let me show you an example. So suppose we have an A of 71 and B is 5. So we're going to use this iterative division algorithm. The first thing we do is we take A divided by B. So 71 divided by 5. Um, the result of this is 14.2. So we're going to set Q equal to the integer part of 14.2. So that's just going to be 14. And then we set r equal to a minus bq, which is 71 minus 5 times 14, which is 71 minus 70. So the remainder is 1. So at this point, we want to ask ourselves, is q equal to 0? q is equal to 14. So the answer is no. Then we're going to set A equal to Q, which is 14, and we're going to repeat. So this is what makes this algorithm iterative. So now at our next step, A is now 14. So 14 divided by 5 is 2.8. So now we set Q equal to the integer part of 2.8, which is just 2, and then we're going to set R equal to A minus BQ, which is 14 minus 5 times 2, that's 14 minus 10, so our remainder at this step is 4, and then we ask ourselves, is Q equal to 0? Q is 2, so no. Then we're going to set A equal to Q, so that's going to be 2, and repeat. Okay, great, so now our A is now 14, I'm sorry, 2. So we're going to repeat this with 2 divided by 5. That result is 0. 4. 
So we'll set q equal to the integer part of 0 0.4, so that's just 0. We're going to set r equal to a minus bq, which is 2 minus 5 times 0. 2 minus 0 is 2. And then we ask, is q equal to 0? And the answer is yes, so that means we stop. And that is the iterative application of the division algorithm.